Ankit, a farmer, lost his mother to colon cancer recently. His wife also currently has breast cancer. The cause, according to medical experts, may lie in the 14 acres of cabbage fields that surround their house, which are regularly sprayed in pesticides. We know that herbicides are toxic, but we cannot afford manual pest control, said another farmer. And it gets worse. Cabbages are just the tip of the iceberg. Recent findings have shown the scary truth is that the pesticides we consume in our fruit and vegetables are linked to cancer, diabetes, heart disease, tumors, respiratory disorders, increased aggressive behavior, weight gain issues, and more. But the good news is that there is a solution to this that we will look at later in this video. Plus, there are 12 foods in particular that cause the most harm that you need to be aware of. Only recently have scientists started to uncover the true dangers of specific pesticides. Research from Harvard University has revealed that produce with high levels of pesticide residue can actually work to negate the positive health you'd normally receive from these fruits and vegetables. Plus, some of these pesticides have been found to increase certain serious negative health impacts. Luckily, the Environmental Working Group investigates ongoing data from the USDA and FDA, and they release a yearly list of the produce found to contain the highest levels of pesticides and other potentially harmful chemicals. So, if these chemicals kill off those pests, what are they doing to your food? Let's find out. These are the 2022 Dirty Dozen. Number 12. Tomatoes. Typically, tomatoes can be excellent for your health and for your diabetes management. After all, they are renowned for their supply of antioxidant carotenoids, including beta-carotene which has been found to reduce the risk of diabetes-related macular degeneration. However, it's important to note that non-organic tomatoes often require pesticide treatment. Recent research by the Ministry of Chile found that tomatoes grown in the region are often treated with multiple pesticides, and 16% of their samples were found to contain pesticide residues over the Chilean maximum residue levels. And over multiple growing seasons, the EWG found that tomatoes were often treated with four types of pesticide, and in some cases, up to 15. Recent studies show that one of the main pesticides used for growing tomatoes is perimiphos methyl, which is toxic to fish and birds. However, its concentration is still generally minimal and under toxic levels for humans. Still, scientists recommend washing your tomatoes with water to decrease the concentration of this and other pesticide residues before consuming. It's also been reported that cooking your tomatoes can help to decrease pesticide residues in their skins. At this point, you're probably wondering, how can I be sure that the food I eat is free from pesticides and other nasties? That's where AquaPure comes in. AquaPure is our sponsor for today's video, and they sent us over some product samples that we tried out for ourselves with our own produce. We were pleasantly surprised to see just how easy it is to use, and how visually effective it was. According to AquaPure, it's able to naturally eliminate up to 99% of pesticides and bacteria, clean your produce using absolutely no harsh chemicals, Provide the benefits of expensive permaculture-grown produce without the cost. Enhance the taste of your fruits and veggies. You'll finally taste them as nature intended. Reduce oxidative stress on your body. Allow you to sleep, feel, and live better. For more information about AquaPure, visit the link in the description below. Now, keep watching for the next of our Dirty Dozen foods that are high in pesticides. Number 11. Celery This green veggie is often cited as a perfect snacking food, as it's incredibly low in calories while also supplying a good amount of water content. It's also been shown to reduce inflammation in the gut, and it contains several diabetes-fighting antioxidants, including vitamin C and beta-carotene. But recent government tests have found that up to 95% of celery samples contain at least one type of pesticide, and overall, they detected 67 separate types of pesticide across their celery samples. 
by weight, the most prevalent pesticide found in celery is chlorothalonil, often used to decrease fungal leaf diseases in the growing process. While reports show that it is not toxic to consume in small doses, it may be acutely toxic if inhaled, and close contact with this chemical may make it carcinogenic to humans. That's why New Zealand banned the sale of home garden fungicides, which contain this pesticide in 2017. So, just in case, be sure to thoroughly wash your celery to rid it of this and other pesticides before you enjoy this natural snack. What are the top 10 types of produce with the highest levels of pesticide residues? And what other types of food might hold on to harmful chemicals? That's just ahead. Number 10. Pears. Who doesn't love a refreshing pear as a summertime snack? Pears supply anti-diabetes nutrients, including vitamin C, vitamin K, and potassium. But over 90% of pear samples have been detected to contain at least one type of pesticide. Most pears produced within the United States are grown using insecticides and fungicides to control fungus and mold. In fact, the EWG found that pesticide residues on pears doubled between 2010 and 2016, and about half of all samples were found to contain five or more types of pesticide. Studies show that the pesticide most often used on conventionally grown pears is carbendism, which has been found to be toxic to the male reproductive system, and it may block the action of certain hormones. And as of 2016, one in 10 pear samples were found to contain diphenylamine, which has since been banned in Europe due to its ability to form carcinogenic nitrosamines when pears are cooked. Number 9. Peaches. Chances are, if you like pears, then you love peaches. They supply vitamins A, C, E, and K, plus potassium, niacin, and manganese. But peaches have thin skins, which have been found to absorb high amounts of pesticide residue. As of 2021, tests showed that 90% of peach samples contained at least two types of pesticide. A recent study by the Center of Toxological Sciences and Research found that, for some peach samples, levels of the pesticide chlorpyrifos exceeded the maximum residue limit. This insecticide, when inhaled or consumed in larger amounts, can negatively affect the nervous system, and some reports show that even consuming this chemical in small amounts may lead to unwanted side effects, like a runny nose, a headache, or nausea. Acute exposure, however, may lead to abdominal pain, constricted pupils, and decreased heart rate. Number 8. Cherries Ah yes, lovely cherries. They supply a good amount of blood sugar balancing fiber, plus vitamin C, potassium, and copper. But unfortunately, these tart treats are particularly susceptible to viruses, fungal diseases, and insects, including the western cherry fruit fly. That's why recent Canadian tests showed that local cherry farmers often use up to 20 types of pesticide in their orchards. Recent EWG studies found that 91% of cherry samples contained multiple pesticides, and 98% contained at least one type of pesticide. The NGO Pesticide Action Europe recently reported that 50% of conventionally grown cherries may be contaminated with the most hazardous pesticide residues. They also found that from 2010 to 2019, pesticide residues on cherries has increased by over 150%, and cherries grown in regions with heavy rainfall, like the Pacific Northwest, utilize rain-protectant chemicals, which may cause cherries to hold on to higher levels of pesticide residue. In fact, recent tests show that some cherry samples contain pesticide levels which exceed maximum residue levels. Number 7. Peppers Both bell peppers and varieties of hot peppers can be an excellent addition to your anti-diabetes diet, as they supply eye-protecting vitamin A and the antioxidant capsaicin, which has been shown to provide anti-inflammatory benefits. But in many cases, these peppers can be treated with upwards of 50 types of pesticide throughout their growing season, 
In fact, a 2021 study found that some bell and hot pepper samples contained over 100 types of pesticide. Bell peppers are known to be treated with a range of insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, and even algicides. It's been reported that pepper fields are often fumigated with methyl bromide. Repeated acute exposure to this neurotoxic chemical in gas form may lead to kidney, liver, brain, and nerve damage, and it has been linked to certain types of cancer. Luckily, most peppers do not hold on to toxic levels of this and other chemical pollutants. Still, scientists believe that pesticide residues on peppers may pose a more acute risk to children than adults. And the EWG notes that while bell peppers tend to have less pesticide residue than other fruits and vegetables, some varieties of sweet peppers may contain pesticides, which have been found to be more toxic to human health. And the EWG found that recent tests showed that several pepper samples contained high residue levels of multiple potentially hazardous pesticides, including Oxymo, Acephate, and the notorious Chlorpyrifos. So, besides typical produce, what other foods should you watch out for when it comes to pesticide residues? That's coming up next, but first, here comes... Number 6. Grapes The original symbol of decadence. Grapes are enjoyed the world over. They are an excellent source of heart-aiding, diabetes-fighting antioxidants, including vitamins A, C, and K. And studies show that they can work to decrease harmful LDL cholesterol. But as of 2018, the European Union found that high amounts of pesticide residues were found on over 85% of grape samples. And the Pesticide Action Network recently reported that grapes contain a cocktail of pesticides and may be more contaminated with pesticides than other fruits, like oranges and pears. The EU also found that approximately 20% of grape samples contained pesticide concentrations, which exceeded maximum residue levels. Pesticides most often found in grapes include azoxystrobin, boscolid, and the previously mentioned chlorpyrifos, which was cited as being a major contributor to the hazard index for consuming conventionally grown grapes. So, beyond the produce section of your grocery store, what other foods should you be wary of purchasing due to their pesticide residues? White rice has been found to hold on to high levels of pesticides and chemical toxins, as they are grown in flooded fields. It's been reported that white rice can contain up to 40 different types of pesticides and herbicides, including glyphosate. Some studies show that long-term exposure to this chemical may cause liver and kidney damage. To decrease their pesticide residue levels, it's recommended that you soak white rice in filtered water for 20 minutes before cooking. Glyphosate residues have also been found in commercially produced oats, barley, and dried pastas. The Consumer Council of Hong Kong noted that 65% of dried pasta samples contained detectable levels of mycotoxin deoxynovalanol. Acute exposure to this chemical can be toxic and may lead to certain forms of cancer. There are several ways you can remove pesticides from your food. We will cover those later in this video. But one particularly powerful method is to have an AquaPure device. Place the AquaPure device at the bottom of the container and add a pinch of salt for optimized cleaning results. Then you just place your produce in the water. Five minutes later, take your food out of the water and you should see and taste the results right away. AquaPure claims to remove up to 99% of pesticides and bacteria while cleaning your produce with no chemicals. To find out more, visit the link in the description below, or check out our in-depth review of AquaPure, which is also in the description below. Now let's move on to the next of our dirty dozen foods that are high in pesticides. Watch out for this one. Number 5. Apples An apple a day may keep the doctor away, but it might also give you unwanted pesticide residues. Apples can be a fantastic fruit for diabetics as apple peels are a great source of pectin, a type of fiber which has been found to help lower cholesterol and triglycerides. 
while improving blood sugar balance. But the EWG reports that most apples are treated with an average of 4.4 pesticides, including the potentially hazardous chlorpyrifus. Apples have also been found to contain high concentrations of diphenylamine, an insecticide sprayed on fruit after it's harvested. European regulators have been vocal about the potential health risks of this chemical, as cancerous nitrosamines may form on diphenylamine-treated fruit. That's why this pesticide has since been banned in Europe. While most government health agencies contend that apples are safe to consume, as long as they contain less than 10 parts per million of diphenylamine, many doctors and scientists warn about the health risks of this chemical on apples, considering that the average American eats about 10 pounds of raw apples each year. Number 4. Nectarines This delicious and refreshing fruit supplies plenty of diabetes-fighting micronutrients, including vitamins A and C, plus copper, niacin, and potassium. But in recent years, the EWG has found that upwards of 97% of nectarine samples contained pesticides, making them one of the fruits with the highest levels of detectable pesticide residues. Nectarine trees, like most every commercially cultivated fruit tree, are heavily treated with a variety of insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides. A common insecticide used for growing nectarines is carborone which is toxic to humans with acute exposure. It has also been found to be toxic to fish, birds, and the environment. California recently restricted the use of carborol in consumer products, as ingesting or breathing high volumes of this chemical has been reported to lead to skin, eye, and respiratory illnesses. Number 3. Kale, Collard, and Mustard Greens Typically, these leafy greens can make for an excellent diabetes-fighting salad centerpiece, as they supply vitamins A, C, B vitamins, alpha-linolenic acid, and a great amount of dietary fiber. But the EWG's analysis of recent USDA data showed that samples of all three of these leafy greens had detectable levels of between five and six types of pesticide. Certain samples even showed over 20 pesticide residues. And overall, over 85% of all leafy green samples contained noticeable levels of at least two pesticide residues. They also found that 25% of leafy green samples contained the pesticides bifenthrin, cypermethrin, and permethrin, each of which are associated with neurological damage to children. And approximately 60% of kale samples were found to contain levels of dacthol which was classified as a carcinogen as far back as 1995 and was banned for use in the EU in 2009. Acute exposure to this chemical may lead to liver, skin, and immune system damage. Want to know effective methods for washing these potentially harmful chemicals off of your food? That's coming up shortly. But what are the two dirtiest foods of 2022? For your next salad, you may want to think twice about. Number 2. Spinach Possibly the most nutritious vegetable on the planet, spinach provides vitamins A, C, and K, plus calcium, iron, and, like other greens, a great portion of blood sugar-stabilizing fiber. However, EWG moved its ranking from the 8th to the 2nd most polluted produce in 2022 due to recent tests showing that this leafy green holds over 7 pesticide residues per sample. The USDA also found that spinach contains more pesticides per dry weight than all other crops that were tested. The EWG discovered that over 75% of spinach samples were treated with permethrin. Exposure to high levels of this neurotoxic pesticide can cause nervous system damage but even low-level exposure to this chemical may be particularly damaging to children. In fact, a recent study found that adolescents with detectable levels of permethrin in their urine were twice as likely to be diagnosed with ADHD. The USDA also found that 40% of spinach samples contained detectable levels of DDT, a toxic pesticide which has been found to be an endocrine disruptor. 
and is classified as a carcinogen. So, how exactly can you effectively wash away as many of these toxic chemicals from your produce as possible? Stay tuned to discover the truth. But now, it's time to reveal the most worrisome piece of produce for 2022, according to the Environmental Working Group. Number 1. Strawberries Strawberries supply a wide range of heart-helping antioxidants, including vitamin C, manganese, and potassium. And you'd be hard-pressed to find a person on this planet who doesn't love strawberries. Unfortunately, pests seem to love these red fruits as well. That's why non-organic strawberries have been found to contain an average of 7.8 types of pesticide per sample. And in some cases, they may hold on to over 20 pesticide residues. And year after year, the USDA has found strawberries to consistently be among the most heavily contaminated fresh produce items. The EWG has found that strawberries typically contain residues of multiple potentially hazardous pesticides, including carbendazin and bifrenthrin. They are also often treated with dichloropropene, and chronic exposure to this chemical may cause liver and kidney damage. Strawberries have also been found to contain detectable levels of chloropicrin, while mild exposure to this chemical can cause coughing and slight breathing issues. Higher levels of exposure have been found to lead to fluid buildup in the lungs. And while both of these pesticides have been banned for use in Europe, they are still in use on some U.S. strawberry farms. So now you know all about 2022's Dirty Dozen. These fruits and vegetables all supply diabetes-fighting, heart-aiding, weight management benefits. But their high levels of pesticide residues means that you should buy their less treated organic versions whenever possible. Earlier in this video, we spoke about how to use Aquapure to remove pesticides, bacteria, mold, and other nasties from your food. Now I'd like to explain how it actually works. It's true, you can rinse your food in cold water without Aquapure, and this will definitely clear away some of the unwanted chemicals. You could even add some baking soda, salt, or vinegar to your water for a better effect. But these can take up to 20 minutes and can alter the flavor of the produce. Whereas Aquapure does it in 5 minutes and can actually make your food taste better. The real magic with Aquapure comes as a combination of the electrolysis of salt and water that it conducts. By adding a small amount of salt, you're providing the sodium and chloride ions that are needed for electrical conductivity. They then react to create sodium hypochlorite, which attack and decompose the pesticide molecules, thus making it easy to flush out with water. It comes with a 90-day money-back guarantee and ships worldwide. We highly recommend that you order one or more of these for yourself and experience the benefits of removing 99% of harmful pesticides, herbicides, mold, and more. Plus, taste how much better your produce is after using Aquapure. It'll finally taste how nature intended. The link is in the description below. Or alternatively, we've recently filmed a more in-depth review and analysis of Aquapure. This is also contained in the description below. Well, that wraps up this look at 2022's foods with high pesticide residues. What are your thoughts about the farming industry's use of these chemicals? Do you think going organic is worth the price? Comment below. Please like, subscribe, feel free to click the thanks button, and don't forget to watch the review of Aquapure to find out if this product can be effective at ridding your produce of harmful pesticides. Click the link in the description below to check it out right now. Thank you for watching. We hope you're having a clean eating day.